Welcome and thank you for your time for this 10 minutes online training. I'm glad that you have decided to find out more about the MICE Academy in order to become the My Sales Expert of the 21st century. Because there's so much happening in the market right now, both with companies and event agencies, the world is evolving rapidly and the demands on the hospitality industry are increasing. You are one of the 5% of people who have decided to take this on and starting a new chapter now. Congratulations so far, you did definitely the first step. In this short presentation, I will give you a valuable insight into the Academy to find out if this program is the right choice for you. It is the first step to unlock the German speaking market for your property. So who is this person who speaks to you right now? My name is Stephanie Kubik, business development leader with enthusiasm and honest blunt feedback. I have developed this online academy that supports the hospitality industry to get away from the skill shortage and become the my sales expert of the 21st century. In my last years, I have built up an international MIS department for 25 hotels worldwide. Achieved six to seven digit sales in a very short time in completely unknown markets and pitched more than 500 event requests. But what is important for a corporation? When you like to work with me, it is particularly important that you take personal responsibility because this online academy or any advice from me is a framework. You have to implement it yourself. It is important to me to be seen as part of the team, a team player mentality, as well as celebrating successes together. And above all, it is important that you have the will to meet the demands of the market and to develop yourself personally. If you are now on fire about the online academy, stay here and I will show you more about how I managed to build a successful my sales business during the biggest crisis in tourism, the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's start. The topic of foundation is the one which always receives less attention. Maybe you know it. Because long decision-making processes that are delayed because many emails are written, queries have to be clarified, response times are delayed due to other to-dos, etc. Who knows this? I have had this experience myself for years and have tried to find another argument why we are the right venue for your event. Do you really need to ask this question? Because it's not primarily about the supplier, it's always about the buyer and at the end the client. What does the event manager need on the other side? It doesn't matter whether it's an agency client or corporate client. And honestly, what do you think you know from the client? Because often we think we know what the client needs from us. But could it be that it's all in our mind? Or do you really ask this question on the phone in a personal conversation? And even more important, also deeply in detail, or could it be that you are afraid to hear, I send you all the information in the briefing by email. Why do you ask that right now? In order to prevent decision-making processes from taking weeks after the offer has been sent out, the most important prerequisite is to build a strong foundation. To get away from toilet paper offers and a sensory overload of information. And we got exactly this feedback from the market and conducted a market analysis with event managers from Germany to really find out what a strong foundation should look like. The next topic is pricing. When it comes to pricing, um, I have heard very different opinions and especially when it comes to group calculations. And I was wavering for a few years in my career offering discounts because I thought the key to the final booking commitment had to be a low price. Every now and then, I felt like I was at a bazaar when the cancellation conditions were also being negotiated. Or do you know this sentence? A group brings in a lot of revenue. So it goes without saying that if several people are traveling, a discount has to be given. But stable pricing has a lot to do with positioning in the market. 
and only very few keep this course. It's, it's difficult. A clear pricing structure gives confidence because it shows that we are not comparing ourselves, that we stand out from the market with different features or services. Often price battles start when we see that another supplier offers the same and is cheaper than us. And in the best case, even a main competitor in the so-called com set. But what happens when we work out what makes us stand out from the market so that we are no longer comparable? That's exactly what you learn in the pricing model. Because swimming with the masses means swimming in a shark tank. And everyone is fighting for survival there, of course. Finding your niche and proactively placing it in the market means fewer direct competitors and fewer comparisons. So the most important topic and the biggest one in the academy, the H2H sales. Before I developed the academy, I have recently been thinking more intensively about the idea of sales and have found out how scary the word is for many people. And then the whole thing becomes even more dramatic when someone tells you, without sales, no revenue. Without revenue, no business. <laughs> no pressure while selling. Uh, this is certainly one of the reasons why many people associate sales with pushing something on someone in order to earn money. But even more important, sales is a people business. And that doesn't mean that we talk all the time, are extroverted and only sit on the phone. It just means that we like to be with people and think in a solution-oriented way. And more importantly, the best solution for the client and not for us. If the shoe doesn't fit, it doesn't fit and it's okay. More important, be yourself. And always remember the way is the result because you need to build up a relationship and be a problem solver and connect with industry friends. A mentor who accompanied me on my development once said, the biggest challenge in life is to be yourself in a world which is trying to make you like everyone else. In this part of the academy, you will learn what are sales from age to age means, sales from human to human, with personality and individuality, offline or online, it doesn't matter because people buy from people. Now we reach the last important topic. You might be thinking, what's the point of marketing here? <laughs> we have a separate department for that. And that's good. So please keep the department. At my previous employee, when I worked in the sales department, I always worked closely with the marketing department together. And especially when it came to corporate identity, my colleagues at the time were the experts. Hands off CI. But I didn't go any deeper than where the logo belongs, what the claim is, and which target group we address overall. These were all the information I needed, I thought. But since I have my own company and have already concerned myself very intensively with the external effect one year after founding it, I have realized that it is not only about corporate identity, but above all about brand identity and sales. And when it comes to marketing in order to become the my sales expert of the 21st century, it is important to dive deeper and not just scratch the surface. I will show you how to do this in the academy. But now it's time to create your story, to become the my sales expert of the 21st century and to launch the German speaking market with me together the fourth largest economic market in the world. And you know from the beginning, I just work with people who take responsibility when a chance is within reach. Arrange a potential analysis interview with me 
so that we can find out together whether this program is time and budget saving, stress-free and easy to implement for you. I'm very much looking forward to get to know you. Yours, Stephanie.